football tournament. From the morning, there was a lot of excitement in the school because Principal Sir was about to make an important announcement. I am very happy to tell you that this year's inter-school football tournament will be organized at our school. All the kids clapped when they heard this announcement. Gattu and Chinky were also very happy. Sports teacher Khurana ji and I have decided that this year's captain of our football team will be Gattu. I am sure our team will win the trophy this year. All the best kids. After coming out of the auditorium, everyone congratulated Gattu for becoming the captain. When the team members list was put on the notice board, Chinky's name was also there. Khurana sir already said that Chinky is very smart. So she has been selected in the team for strategy and planning. Congratulations, Chinky. Thank you, Gattu. We won't leave any stone unturned to win the tournament this time. Yes, Chinky. Last year, St. Joseph's Convent won the final by cheating. This time, we'll give our best to win the trophy. Only two weeks were left for the tournament. Gattu, Chinky and their team practiced daily for two hours. Gattu assigned roles like forward, defense and midfield to the players based on their skills. Chinky made a special list of FIFA World Cup and English Premier League matches as video clips. Chinky and Gattu watched these videos and planned their strategies. Look at this messy goal, Gattu. He dodged five players and then scored a goal. You need to practice dribbling like this. Yes, Chinky, that move was awesome. Two weeks passed quickly. And the tournament's opening day arrived. Gattu, Chinky and the rest of the team entered the field. Our team jersey looks the most attractive in the tournament. Yes, Tinky, wearing it fills us with energy. The school stadium was packed with spectators. The announcer spoke on the mic. This year, there are eight teams in the tournament and they will play in a knockout format. The winning team will advance to the next round and the losing team will be out of the tournament. Hearing this, Raju, who was standing next to Chinky, asked her. So, we can't lose any match? Yes, Raju, to become champions, we need to win every match. The first match of the tournament began with Gattu's team facing Woodcraft International. In the first 10 minutes, Woodcraft scored a goal. Gattu tried very hard to score a goal, but Woodcraft's defense was very strong. Gattu thought to himself, How do I break their defense? Just before half time, Woodcraft scored another goal, making it 2 0. Gattu's teammates began to lose hope. Oh no, we are two goals behind. We might be out of the tournament in the first round. Then Chinky encouraged the players. Come on guys, we shouldn't lose hope. I have noticed that Woodcraft's players are more tired than us. In the second half, we won't attack their goal immediately. We'll just keep possession of the ball to our team and make their players run. Exactly. After 15-20 minutes, when they will get tired, we'll make our attacking move. Gattu and Chinky's plan worked perfectly. After running for 15-20 more minutes, the Woodcraft players were very tired. And then Gattu scored a brilliant goal without much effort. After Gattu's goal, the team got energized. And soon Bunty scored another goal, making the score 2-2. Well done, Bunty. In the last minute of the match, Gattu passed the ball close to Woodcraft's goal to Chinky, who scored the third goal. Wow, Chinky, that goal was amazing. With referee's whistle, the match ended and Gattu's team won the match with a 3-2 score. Meanwhile, St. Joseph's Convent easily won their match with a score 4-0 and advanced to the semi-finals. In the first semi-final, St. Joseph's played like champions and defeated Vasant Valley with a big margin of 7-0. St. Joseph's captain and coach were very arrogant. During the presentation ceremony, Vikrant, 
captain of St. Joseph said, We will win the trophy again this year too. No team can stand against us. Hearing Vikrant's arrogant statement, Gattu was very angry. We need to destroy Vikrant's arrogance. First, let's beat Shankar Vidya Sharan in the semi-finals. Then we'll teach Vikrant and St. Joseph's a lesson in the finals. The semi-final match began between Gattu's team and Shankar Vidya Sharan. Shankar Vidyashram's player played very roughly and would often hurt Gattu and his teammates on purpose. Gattu, these players are kicking our legs instead of the ball. Yes, Bunty, I have noticed their foul play. As captain, Gattu complained to the referee. The next time Shankar Vidyashram's captain fouled Raju, the referee showed him a yellow card. At halftime, the score was 1-1. But in the second half, Shankar Vidyashram became even more aggressive and their captain made a foul and kicked Gattu's left leg. Gattu fell down due to this kick and Chinky ran to him. Gattu, is your injury serious? No, Chinky, don't worry. But the injury was quite severe. The referee showed a red card to Shankar Vidyashram's captain, sending him out of the game. Gattu was able to get up with great difficulty and started walking slowly. Gattu, you should rest. Don't play in this condition. No, Bunty, this is a chance to win the match. Their captain has been shown a red card and now they are down to 10 players. I'll rest after we win. Despite the pain, Gattu played brilliantly and scored a goal, leading his team to a 2-1 victory. But Gattu's injury was serious and Principal Sir didn't want him to play in the final match as it might worsen the injury. Gattu! Skip the final match. If the injury gets worse, it will be a big problem. I am fine, sir. I only see the trophy now and I want to win that trophy for my school no matter what. The next day, the final match began. Gattu's parents came to the stadium to cheer for Gattu and Chinky. Fifteen minutes into the match, both teams made several attacking moves. But no goals had been scored yet by any team. St. Joseph's Convent's coach told his captain Vikrant, Our main threat is Gattu. Tell your two players they should stay close to Gattu all the time and do not give him any chance to make any move. Vikrant did as instructed and two of his players constantly surrounded Gattu, due to which it was hard for Gattu to make any move. Jinky, St. Joseph's two players are surrounding Gattu. Hey Raju, we need a strong strategy. The score was 0-0 at halftime. But just after the break, St. Joseph's made a surprise move from the left and their captain Vikrant scored the goal leading 1-0. I told you, we will win the trophy this year too. The time was running out and Gattu's team couldn't find a chance to score. Chinky, St. Joseph's team is using negative tactics now. Yes, they are just passing the ball amongst themselves to waste time. That is actually good for us. Their lead will only give one goal. I just need one chance to score an equaliser. With only five minutes left in the match, and Gattu's team was not getting any chance to score a goal. Gattu, remember the Messi video? He dodged five players and scored. You need to do something like that. You're right, Chinky. I'll try that. With only two minutes left in the match, Gattu got a chance and using magical moves just like Messi. He broke through St. Joseph's defence ring and scored a goal. Wow Gattu, that move was awesome. As the game time ended, the score was 1-1 and it was time for a tiebreaker. In the tiebreaker, both teams' goalkeepers played brilliantly and even after the first four shots, no goals were scored from any of the team. St. Joseph's coach told Captain Vikrant, Vikrant, this is our last chance to score. Vikrant, filled with arrogance and overconfidence, replied, Don't worry, sir. My shot won't be saved by their goalkeeper. Vikrant took a shot aiming for the right corner. But the goalkeeper dived and pushed the ball away from the goal. Now it was Gattu's turn. We trust you completely, Gattu. Gattu took a deep breath and made a stunning angular shot that curved through the air and went into the left corner of the goal. Wow, Gattu, what a shot! Wow, Gattu, you are the best! 
With this brilliant goal, Gattu's team became the tournament champions. St. Joseph's captain and coach's arrogance were shattered and Vikrant left the court with his head hung low. On the stage when Gattu lifted the trophy, his entire team, principal sir and his parents cheered and celebrated. You did an amazing job Gattu. We finally won the trophy. This win was not possible without you Chinki. This is a victory for the whole team. Principal sir said to Gattu's parents, Gattu and Chinki are really amazing children. Papa and mummy were very proud of them after hearing this. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them and subscribe.